All right, it's time for game two of this round two matchup between the 91 Minnesota Twins and the 1990 Oakland Athletics. Uh, today it's going to be Jack Morris going to the mound for Minnesota, taking on 27-game winner Bob Welch. Now the Twins dropped game one in Minnesota behind uh, Jose Canseco and Terry Steinbeck, who each homered in the game. And they look to take the Twins out of this tournament right here and now in Oakland. Twins are going to have to win two here to advance. So tall task indeed. Um, I've already started game two. Uh, we are in the third inning. I'll give you an update. And so let's head to the ballpark. So here you go. First inning. Uh, Welch got himself in some trouble. He walked the bases loaded. And then Brian Harper hit a sack fly to center field to score Knobloch. And it was one nothing Twins. And that's where we stand here. Uh, as we head to the top of the third. Welch back on the mound. Dan Gladden will lead it off. He grounded out his first time up. 5-1-1. 5-1-1 is going to be a ground ball to third. Lansford's got it. He'll throw it over to first. One away. Here comes Chuck Nabla. He walked and scored back in the first. 6-5-4. 6-5-4, he's going to pop it up. This one's going to go out to center field. Dave Henderson comes in. He'll make the catch. Two away. Kirby Puckett stands in. He walked his last time up. Pitch to Kirby. 1-6-2. He throws the fastball by him. Strike three. Puckett's down on strikes. And we head to the bottom of third. one nothing Twins. Here's Ricky Henderson to lead it off. He struck out his first time up. 2-3-6. 2-3-6. He got him for the second time. The split finger in the dirt. And Henderson chases it. One away. Here comes Carney Lancer. He struck out his first time up. 3-1-6. 3-1-6 is going to be a base hit in the left field. Gladden gets it back in. Lanceford's on with a one-out single. It's going to bring up Jose Canseco, who struck out his first time up. Moore struck out the side in the first inning. Pitch to Canseco. 2-4-1. 2-4-1 is a fly ball center field. Puckett takes a couple steps back, makes the catch. And there's two away. It's all up to Mark McGuire, who lined one hard to left field. Gladden caught it at his midsection. Pitch to McGuire. 3-2-2. 3-2-2 is a line ball. He Fly ball, I should say, on a line out to right field. And then he'll be retired. We head to the fourth. on nothing Minnesota. Here's Cat Herbeck. Herbeck walked his first time up. One four six. One four six. Ground ball. First base. McGuire flips it over to Welch and one away. Brings up Brian Harper who had a sack fly his first time up. Five five one. He is strikes out. Oh, rare strikeout at fifty five. And there's two away. Shane Mack steps in. He flew out to right his first time up. Two out. The pitch to Mack. 2-1-3. 2-1-3 is a little tapper. Weiss charges. Flips it over to McGuire and the inning's over. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Still one nothing Twins. Brings up Dave Henderson. Henderson singled his first time up. 
five, five, five. He's going to draw a walk. Anderson's on with a leadoff walk here to start the bottom half, the fourth. Brings up Terry Steinbeck, who grounded in a force out his last time up. 6-2-6. Six, six. He lifts this one. Oh, he's got a good shot to get out of here. Deep. 41 or higher, it's gone. It's out of here. His second homer of the series. A two-run shot from Terry Steinbach. And it's 2-1 to one. Oakland on top. Morris grooved that one, and Steinbach ripped it over the left field wall. So, brings up Walt Weiss. One, two, six. One, two, six is a strike three. Morris comes back and gets Weiss on strikes. Here's Mike Gallego. He walked his first time up. Three, four, six. Three, four, six. Possible rare play, fourth hit. It's going to be a possible foul. Pretty big foul ground here in Oakland. 11 through 63, and he fouled off the short. 54 caught by Gagne in foul ground, two away. All up to Bob Welch. 2 3 1. He grounds one back to the mound. Morris runs halfway to first, flips it over to her back, and the inning's over. We head to the top of the fifth. The A's grab the lead on the Terry Steinbach home run. And they lead it 2-1. to one. Here's Mike Pagliarulo. He singled his first time up. 3-4-5. It's another one of those possible hits, possible rare plays. And again, it's a possible foul ball. But again, it's a huge foul ground. 11 through 63, and it's caught by Lansford. That, there's one away. Here's Greg Gagney. He grounded into a double play his first time up. 3 Be a column three check here 55 or higher it's gonna be a base hit it's a 43 that means Henderson comes in makes the catch on the run two away it's all up to Jack Morris Morris 656 short fly ball left field Henderson coming in again he makes the catch and the innings over we head to the bottom of the fifth, two to one, Oakland. Here's Ricky Henderson to lead it off. He struck out twice against Jack today. The pitch to Mor from Morris, one four four. That's going to be a tapper towards second base. Knoblock charges, flips it over to Herbeck, gets Henderson by a step. One away. Ball to Carney Lansford. Two out or one out. I'm sorry. He's one for two on the day. 3-1-6, 3-1-6, a base hit, his second hit of the game, into right field, Mack retrieves it, throws it back in, and Lansford's on with another one-out single, brings up Jose Canseco, and here comes the power of the lineup, now, Morris against Canseco, McGuire, and Henderson, and then Steinbeck, who's actually had more homers than anybody in the series. Pitch to Canseco, 5-6-4. He's going to walk him. Morris walks Canseco, two men on, and here comes Mark McGuire. McGuire batting 143 in the series. The pitch to McGuire, 4-4-1. Four, four, this could be a double play. Ground ball to short. Flips it over to second for one, back to first, double play. The Twins turn it, and we head to the sixth, 2-1. He's leading it. Here's Dan Gladden to lead off. He's over 2. 
one four one. He grounds one to second. Gallego over to McGuire, one away. Chuck Knobloch. Knobloch, 0 for 1. He's walked and flown out the center. The pitch to Knobloch. 6 6 6. Knobloch, base hit in the right field. Canseco gets it back in. Knobloch's safe at first with a single. He might try to steal here. Steinbeck, not a great arm. 36, or I'm sorry, 41 or higher. Nope, he's going to hold. So actually the hold of Bob Welch keeps Knobloch at first. Here comes Kirby Puckett. He's walked and struck out. He's batting 200 in the series. He's due 266. There's a fly ball, a little short fly ball off the center field, or right field, Canseco coming in on it, 62 or higher. 1-1. One, one. He'll make the catch. Nice running catch from Canseco. That's two away, it's all to Cat Herbeck. Herbeck, batting 400, just two for five, he's driven in a couple runs. The pitch to him. 1-3-6, that won't do it. He pops him up, third base side, Lanceford is under it, makes the catch, and the inning's over. We head to the bottom of the sixth, 2-1 Oakland leading it. Dave Henderson, one for one, he's singled and walked. Pitch to Henderson, 5-4-2. 5-4-2 is a fly ball center field. Puck it, didn't have to move much, caught that one, one away. And it brings up Steinbach. So far, the he's got two hits in the series, both of them home runs. He's driven in five. Pitch to Steinbach. Four one three. There's a little ground ball to short. Gagne fires it over to Herbeck. Two away. It's all up to Walt Weiss. He's one for two. Pitch to Walt. Pitch to him. I'm sorry. One, two, one. He struck him out. Mora strikes out Weiss, and that ends the inning. We head to the top of the seventh. It's two to one Oakland. It's starting to get uh, crunch time here for the Twins. Mm -hmm. They need some base runners. Here's Harper. He's sack had a sack fly and struck out. Pitch from Welch. 635. 635. It's gonna be a fly ball deep to right field. Canseco goes back. He is gonna make the catch on the track. One away. Here's Shane Mack. Shane Mack. 224. There's a base hit. Into center field, line single, and Mack is on with a one-out single. That brings up Pagliarulo. They could use a long ball here, but pitch from Pat to Welch, 1-6-2. This could be a double play. Right back to the mound. Welch fields it. Throws it to second for one. Back to first. No! Oh, he beats it out. Almost got him. So that's going to bring up Gagne with two outs. Pitch to Gagne. 0 for 2. 5 3 6. 5 3 6. Going to walk him. A two out walk. And that's Welch's fourth walk on the day. He walked three in the first inning. It was pretty good from then on, but now there's two men on. It's Jack Morris. We might see a pitch hitter here. Morris has gone six. I think they are going to bring in a pinch hitter.
Randy Bush will come in to pinch hit. With two men on, two outs. Bush, one for one in the series. He had a pinch hit for game one. He hit 303 with six home runs and 165 at bats in 1991. The pitch to Bush, 4-3-3. That's going to be a ground ball to third. Over to first, and the inning's over. So Bush can't get the job done, and we're going to have a new pitcher for our, the Twins. They are going to go with... Hmm. I'll say Willis already pitched. So did Leach. I'm going to go with Paul Abbott. Abbott comes on to pitch here in the seventh. Gallego will lead it off. He's 0 for 1. Walk and he popped, fouled out to short. 4 4 1. 4 4 1's a ground ball to short. Gagney, good range behind the bag, throws over to first and got him. One away. Here's Bob Welch, who's going to go ahead and hit here. 3 1 4. 3 1 4. He taps it back to the mound. Abbott over to Herbeck, two away. It's all to Ricky Henderson. Ricky 0 for 3. He has not had a hit in the series yet, but he has three walks. One, three, four. One, three, four. Is a base hit up the middle. His first hit of the series. He's on, and he possibly could go here again. Harper does not have a good arm. Abbott holds average. 33. It's going to be a 34 or higher. No, he's going to hold. He's not going to go. So it's going to bring up Carney Lancer, who's got a pair of hits today. Two for three. With Ricky's on. Pitch to Lansford. 6-4-2. 642 against the righty. He's a fly ball deep to left. Gladden back, back, makes the catch against the wall, and the side is retired. So we head to the eighth, still two to one. Oakland on top, powered by the Terry Steinbeck home run. Back in the fourth. Here's Dan Gladden, he's 0 for 3. Pitch to Gladden, 6 5 1. 6-5-1. Struck him out. Gladden goes down on strikes. Strikeout number three for Bob Welch. Here's Chuck Knobloch. Knobloch, one for two. He's walked and singled. 2-2-4. Two, two, That's going to be a base hit. Nice, clean single through the middle. And, uh, Knobloch might try to steal here. Need a 41 or higher. He's got it. 42. Safe at second. Steinbeck throws not in time. And Knobloch's got a stolen base. Welch going to his B grades. Oh, shoot. Tying run at second. We got to lift him with Puckett coming up. Puckett coming up. Whoops. I don't want to pinch it for Puckett. There we go. They're going to bring in Todd Burns. Todd Burns will come in to face Puckett. Burns two, 
Uh, really, 41 games, 3-3 three and three record, with a 2.97 ERA. Pitch to Puckett. 236. 236 is a fly ball right field. Canseco makes the catch. Now block tags, but does not go. So two outs. It's all up to Herbeck. I think uh, La Russa is going to make the move to Honeycutt to face Herbeck. The pitch to Herbeck, 4-4-6. Four, 4-4-6, four, six. Four, four, six. a ground ball right to McGuire. He steps on the bag and the inning's over. So we head to the bottom of the eighth. Two to one, Oakland leads it. Abbott's still on the mound. Bringing ah, uh, we'll just leave Abbott in the see if you see if he can get through one more inning here. Pitch to Canseco, 3-3-5, three, 3-3-5 three, five. Three, three, five is going to be a base hit. Base hit into left field, a leadoff single for Jose Canseco. And Abbott is on a thin leash. They're going to let him face McGuire, though. Pitch to McGuire. Uh-oh, 3-3-6. Three, three, 55 or higher is going to be a base hit. It, it is. It's going to fall in. Canseco, round second. He's going to hold. Possibly. Third base coach. 36. Oh, they gun him out at third. No, they hold him. I'm sorry. They hold him. I thought they gunned him out. Canseco, the throw was right on the money. Canseco... Smartly stayed where he was. Two men on, nobody out, and they need to um, really uh, think about what they want to do here. We're going to have to bring in a new pitcher, I think. Henderson coming up. And Terry Leach comes into pitch. Two men on. Nobody out. Henderson is not going to bunt here. He's hitting away. 5 4 2. 5 4 2 is going to be a. Uh oh. Checking the M chart. Nine. It's going to be a wild pitch, possible. Leach a four. It's a six. He uncorks a wild pitch. Runners move up. Now, two runners in scoring position. <sighs> Dave Henderson, the base is open. They're going to. I think they're going to walk him. To face, even though that Steinbeck is up next. Ugh. Yeah, they're gonna, they're just gonna play the infield in. They're not gonna walk him. Pitch to Henderson. Oh, that could have been six four two. Fly ball deep. It's gonna get a run in. Gladden makes the catch. End to score. Comes Canseco, and it is now 3-1 to one in favor of the A's. Terry Steinbeck comes to bat here. He's 1-3, for three, homeward. Back in the fourth, the pitch, 3-5-6. Three, 3-5-6. Five, six. Three, five, six. Maybe another shaded column here. 
Oh, 25 or higher is going to be a base hit. Oh, it's a 24. Nice play. In Shane Mack dives and makes the catch. What a play by Shane Mack. McGuire has to retreat back to second. Two away, and it's all to Walt Weiss. 2 3 2. 2 3 2. He pops him up. Second base side. Now block in foul ground makes the catch, and the inning's over. We're going to head to the ninth. Twins down by two, and now they're going to have to face the Eck. Eckersley on the pitch. It'll be Harper, Mack, and Pagli Rulo. Pitch to Harper. 2 5 3. 2 5 3 is going to be strike three. Got him on strikes. One away. Shane Mack. One for three on the day. 3 1 6. Matt's going to be a short fly ball center field. Henderson. He makes the catch two away. And it's all up to Pagliarulo. Pags is one for three. Ackersley in them is wind up the pitch. Two six two. Little floater out in the right field. Can Seiko coming in on it? Can he get to it? 62 or higher. It's a base hit. It's going to fall in. It's going to fall in. So Pagley Ruler keeps it alive. And here comes Greg Gagne. Gagne is going to hit against Eckersley. He's 0 for 2 today. Pitch to Gagne. 2 5 5. This should do it. Fly ball out to center field. Henderson coming in. Gloves it in the inning. Game is over. Series is over. The A's win it 3-1. to one, Take the series two games to none. And they head to the next round. Let's check out the box score. For the Twins, they had just five hits. Two each from Pagliarulo and Knobloch. All singles. Did not have much against Bob Welch. They didn't have much against any of the Oakland pitchers in this series. Uh, for the A's, of course, Steinbeck had his second homer of the series. Drove in a couple of runs. And Glanceford had a pair of hits. Pitching-wise, Morris went six, allowed two runs on five hits. He struck out six. He didn't pitch bad, but uh, his offense did not do him any favors. Welch was sharp, seven of third innings, allowed one run, four hits. He did walk four. Three of those came in the first inning, and he struck out three. So Bob Welch gets the win. Eckersley picked up his second save of the series. So there you have it. The A's looking tough. They're going to be a hard out for anybody in this uh, tournament. Let's go to the bracket. So Oakland advances. They'll take on the winner of the next series. The 99 Red Sox against the 95 Indians. That should be a really good one. And that should, whoever wins that series, that, that series is going to be a monster series. So that's it from here. It'll be Brett Saberhagen going uh, for the Red Sox. Uh, I'm going to check that out. That might not be right. Let me see something here. Uh, da, 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 da. Boston. Uh, profile. Pitching. No, Pedro is supposed to be starting. I don't know why they had Saberhagen. So it should be Pedro, Saberhagen, and then Rap. And then for Cleveland, let's check Cleveland, make sure her. I'm guessing Hershiser's right.
Nope, Dennis Martinez is supposed to get the start. So I'm not sure where they, why it's not using my profiles here. Uh, so Martinez, we'll have to change that. So we'll see you for the next game. 99 Boston against 95 Cleveland. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.